Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. I edit that together, by the way, so that it's very quick, quick, bong, bong, in case you're wondering. <laughs> mm. You ever make a card where everything seems to come together and you feel like it's the greatest card you've ever made ever in the history of what you've made? That's the card I'm sharing today. There's just something about it that just made me happy when everything was done. This is not a card that you are going to make and mass because there are a lot of little steps, but I think you're going to be inspired to try this technique. So stick around. My favorite card ever for this week is coming up next. So here's a look at the products I'll be using today. I'm very excited about both, both new releases from Waffle Flower. Number one, this little outline butterfly that cuts both the insides and the outlines, the little cascade is beautiful and this set is brilliant this is label maker sentiment so let's see here if i can look at all these little little greetings right that come on one sheet so you can just stamp this in black ink or whatever color ink you fancy and then you can cut them all out at once with let's see if i can pull this out here with the coordinating die and I love this I've never I've never used one of this style that cuts everything out at once but when you do right you can just pop it in like that and then you cut all of those out at once love it all right let's get started so I've brought in my little palette here from art impressions and all I'm gonna do is the old smoosh down the color and all I'm gonna do here is flip this over and make sure that I create a wash of color. I've got two jars here and a little paper towel off camera to you know, build up my color. So I think what I'll do here is I'll just get started with my picked raspberry and I'm just gonna start messy painting. This is what is so great about <laughs> something like this. It is so easy to create a very quick wash of color for whatever it is you're going to die cut, right? So, and I'll just keep holding this in, bringing in a little more, right? Just potching it down. No fancy skills required. And let's come in here to the spice marmalade, just working in that rainbow order and doing a little overlap, right? Just a little overlap in here like this. And when you're doing something like this and you have a little shape die, you just want to make sure, right, that you incorporate enough so that you can get color in everything that you are cutting out. So I'll just, you know, go up a little and just be a little haphazard, double may care. And again, as much color as you need, go ahead, right? The less water you have on your brush, the deeper your color will be, right? So you can deepen that up, get it kind of like that. You can use uh, watercolor paper too. I just really like this Tim Holtz Distress watercolor paper. I just, I feel like I know how to use this better. Um, but also, I like how bright white it is. Next color is gonna be the mustard seed. Of course, you could, you know, fill in any color of the rainbow that you like. If you wanna go with a full rainbow, great. You don't, great, it's all good. I like to set limits for myself most of the time when I'm choosing color. And that's why oftentimes I do kind of stick with the same colors again and again. And you know my, you know my opinion on that. If it, if it isn't broken down, do not thou fixeth. I, you, know, you know what I mean. Okay, just coloring with that. Again, checking us, checking us out here. Do we have it? Do we have it good? Oh yeah, see that? We got that. Get some clean water here and come in with the piece de resistance, pardonnez-moi, uh, my twisted citron, which I tend to do this one a little bit extra and over because sometimes when I'm first painting it down, you can kind of see it's, it's just, it's a little too light for my taste. And my taste is all about twisted citron because let's, let's be real it's it's like the it's like the green from the green heavens above I love it so I'm gonna just keep building that up a little just so I have a little more depth to the green like that 
I haven't done one of these types of back like backgrounds in a long time. And sometimes if you, you know, if you don't feel your creative mojo and you don't have any ideas, you can always just make some backgrounds, right? Just, you know, make some backgrounds, just get out some paint, have some fun, and then you have backgrounds ready to go. Just a little, starting to pop up a little there. A little less water and pump it up. Let's pump it up. Didn't Elvis Costello have a song called Pump It Up? Pumping up that color, right? And the beautiful thing is, oh, there we go. Just the Twisted Citron's got to build up. It's got to build up a little, right? There we go. And it's okay to kind of go into the other colors and overlap. That is what we are looking for, friends. And now let's just confirm butterflies are going to be good to go. See that? You know what? I might even put just a little more pink up top just for, I really do love this, this pink color. It's so good. Picked raspberry, so bold. Look at that. Okay, getting you. And then just kind of go over that. And anytime, you know, you have any extra water or whatever, it's just going to create a cool sort of watercolory look. All right. That is going to dry while we work on our greetings. Okay. Here we go with the label maker. And again, I've never used this type of stamp, but, oh, don't put that there. But I love, I love it because again, oh boy, this is, this is stuck on. Let's see if we can, oh, there we go. All right. Woo. Well, let's just pick it up first because here's the thing. This is a brand new stamp, right? Super sticky. I am going to make sure everything is pushed right into that corner, right? Because I just want to make sure I have clearance when I do this. Yep. Because I want it, I'm going to probably stamp it multiple times, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, I mean, you can, you can do this however you like, but when you get a brand new stamp with this much surface area, I think rubbing your finger over the whole stamp, right? Get those, get those epithelial cells off your body and onto your stamp. And now we're going to take this funky, wonderful VersaFine Claire. This is actually very similar to VersaFine Onyx Black. This is just a new pad for me. I, I've i seen people using these and I, I wouldn't mind getting some more because I think it's pretty amazing ink. So let's do it. Let's, let's ink it up and get it as inky black as we can, right? Because that's, oh my, I hope this is gonna work. I don't know. Inking, inking, inking. I get nervous with big stamps. Do you ever get nervous with a big stamp? Because you don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, it's so sticky too. Okay, I think that's inked up well enough. Also, gonna get my little tool. This is my Nicole tool, my little stamp press. We're pushed into the corner and we're coming down and we're gonna press. We're just gonna take our time. We're really gonna let this ink transfer to the paper and I can already see where I have missed some and that's okay right we're gonna we're gonna go back we're gonna hit it again because this VersaFine Claire is very crisp and it should should give me what I need but I've already I can already see where I've missed some areas so let's pick it up like that oh that's a hot mess <laughs> okay pushing it right back into place ink 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 ink. all right let's get that down let's see if that's good enough i think it will be i don't know though could still be a few areas but see how you it already looks darker through the oh my <gasps> did it work oh we still got a few areas that i'm missing pressing in the corner again oh we weren't there beauty of this tool you wouldn't be able to do this freehand my friends all right I'm going to work on the areas that I need to work on. You got to work it. Didn't Missy Elliott say that? Pretty sure she did. And let's see. Better? And if not, we're going to stamp it again. <gasps> yeah, I don't know why I can't seem to get that center. So you see it there? See where the ink is? Let's see if I can push it in and see if that transfers. It might. 
I think sometimes you just have to look for the areas of your ink and make sure you're pressing them down. How about that one? Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's a little ink there. Wish I had keynoted all the others where they were. That's better. Once this is more conditioned, it's going to be brilliant. All right. And also, there could be something in my Misty, like a speck underneath my, I don't know. But this ink, you can kind of see how dark it is to create the speck. You could also do this on um, to emboss, right? I just didn't feel like embossing. I really just wanted black and white that was stamped and not embossed. Okay, we'll press it into the corner. And let's just go. Slow, slow, pressure, even. All right, this is going to be good to go. All right, I like it. So we're going to walk away. I'll let this dry for a good 10 minutes. I'll go fill up my coffee cup off camera and, and then I'll be back. So while that other piece is drying, I can go ahead and die cut a few things. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to die cut an outline first, right? I want to outline for this and I'm not going to, well, I, could, I guess I could keep those inner. And by the way, I just put a brand new plate in my spell binders. If lest you think, wow, Kathy, how do your plates look so good? Well, they're new. Well, the top one is new. Okay, we're gonna come out here and I'm gonna make sure, I think I got, oh, look at that beautiful cut. Holy cut, Batman. So I'm gonna cut out a second one, I think. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the second one. And actually, you could also do this as an inlay card. Oh, there's just, there's so many ideas, so many ideas. But I'm going to have a couple outlines first. Oh, now look at that, this guy stayed in this time. Again, butterflies. So now I've got two for the idea that I think I'm going to do, which is going to be having a little dimension to this once I get this filled in. Right like that. Now I'm going to tape this down. And now I'm going to tape you into place just for safekeeping because there's nothing worse than getting something all ink blended and then boom, you mess it up. All right, we ready? Now, let's cut these out. Okay. Oh, crank it. A little, a little tricky. Coming back. I'm going to go through one more time. Just when I get my cuts, I want it to be real good. Okay. Let me get you out of the way. My card. Now, here's what's cool, though. Not only do I have my fills, but I do have this elegant outline that I can also use if I wanted to. It's not really in my plan today, because my plan, let's poke you out, is to, oh, look at that though. Let's get, let's get the pretty one out so I can show you what it looks like. Do I want to just do a whack on the, a whack-a-mole? All right, let's do it. There we go. Oh, that's actually gorgeous too, right? All right, popping you out. Oh my, I think I may have to figure out something to do with that. Look at how pretty that is with just the beautiful butterfly. So that's the beauty of any sort of die cut with an outline. You get a twofer. You get a twofer. Who doesn't love a twofer? So my idea requires a little press and seal. I, get a little, I don't have much of this left. I kind of treat it like, well, I treat it like, like gold. Um, let's get you out of the way. You can use, of course, like, you know, low tack tape for this or, you know, masking, low tack masking paper, but this is just the cheapest. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this in reverse. I'm going to pop it down like that. Okay. I'm just going to pop this into place and I'm going to give it a good press because I, I really do want this to stick into place, but I'm going to fill in all of these outlines, right? With, with the butterfly, right? I'm gonna get in here like that. But we're filling it in like this. Now, this might seem a little ticky tack, right? This isn't exactly a mass production kind of card because, you know, this is one of those special cards that you're gonna send to a special friend, someone who, well, they may or may not appreciate the work. But part of that whole mindset, you know, does someone appreciate what I do for them? <laughs> this is what I like to remind you. Are, are you having fun doing it? Because honestly, 
No one is ever going to love your card as much as you do. And you need to embrace that joy because you know what? It's all about you. And now I'm going to flip it just real quick so you can see what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? Oh, right. Okay, so cute. I'm going to do a few things just to make sure these things stay good. I'm not going to use purple tape for this. There is a reason. I don't want any purple coming through. So I'm going to use white post-it tape. Now it's already held together somewhat, but not, not the way perhaps that we really need it to be perfectly held. So I'm going to cut little strips of this. It's like, it's like I'm a surgeon. Didn't Weird Al have a song like a surgeon? <laughs> this is, this video could be subtitled wherein Kathy remembers songs from her life. But I'm gonna just do these because then for sure, right, we are bridging the gap between all pieces. Again, not for mass production, but I'm connecting every part that could, oh, I missed one, see that in there? Now, again, I am sure that someone will say to me, Kathy, there's a better way. Dude, there's a better way, but you know what? <laughs> Sometimes you have to explore. So the next part of this, I'm gonna grab foam squares and pop them all over the back. I'll be right back, because nobody needs to watch me do that for 15 minutes. So what I have done is I have taken foam squares and strategically placed them so that this bad boy gets to float above the card base. Huh? All right, easy peasy breezy. We're gonna five and a half score line so that what we have is a classic uh, USA2. That will be our card base. Okay. Ooh, the sun's coming out. Probably because I did a rainbow. So now comes the fun part. Uh, just taking off all the foam backers. This will take a while. In fact, I'll just show you one and then we'll skip ahead to where the magic is really going to happen. All right, we did it. All the foam squares are off. This is also um, the reason I fold over the sides of the press and seal is so that I have something that isn't sticky to hold on to when I'm pressing. Cause I'm just gonna do this and we're gonna roll the dice that I'm gonna be able to do it right. I'm gonna hold this over here, visualize the card panel top to, you know, from side to side. And we're just gonna Oh my gosh, isn't that cool? <laughs> Gently, just give that a good press. Gentle with the bone folder. Oh, Kathy, that is worth the pain. And then when you peel this back, look at that. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? Like just walk away. I am in love with this. Now, do I want to put another one on top? Yeah. You know what? I don't know. I'm going to think on that. And while I think on that, I'm going to go ahead and cut out now that this little friend has been dried. Let's go ahead and get greetings. All right. And so here's, here's the beautiful thing. And I realize that's a lot of work, right? This is not, this is not a mass production card, but now, you know, you, you can take anything here and make a card. In fact, I actually think, I actually think like, wouldn't, wouldn't that make a beautiful sympathy card, right? Or, or even just like, you know, popping this right up in the center. I'm going to do paper hugs right there. I think that's so cute. Let me get my I've put a thin strip of more of a thin foam adhesive that I have from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. I have this really lovely um, ginormous roll that you can cut into pieces. And I am gonna put a little liquid on here just because I, I'm not, I wanna make sure this is straight. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it takes a little, it takes a little noodle in. I'm not gonna worry about popping that up because I think uh, on the other side, I think if I cross this, right here. We preserve enough butterfly, right? So you can totally see that. And get my T-square here just to make sure it's straight. Oh, which side do we go on? I think we go on that side. Okay, are we, are we straight? That looks straight. Like that, and press. 
<gasps> that is so cute. I love it. Isn't that cool? Now the question is, do we need a little shine on this? I feel like this is my favorite card I've made so far in 2021. The joy I'm feeling right now, I hope you can feel. Let me see if I can find something shiny. Let's see if the boop is going to work. These smaller ones are so hard to do because they have a little cupness to them. So let's see. Oh, <laughs> give a little dabble, do ya? A little dabble, do ya? And boop. Nope, it's not going to come off because it's... There we go. There we go. They're just a little cuppy. Does that make sense? Pick you up. Boop. Come on. Well, I'm having trouble with the boop. Oops, we are not booping in our usual capacity. Well, okay. I wonder if my tip has, oh, I feel like it has muck on it. I don't really know what happened. All right, let's see. No, let's, let's try another boop. Boop. There we go. Okay, I think I just had a muck. Well, don't get too excited, Kathy. The cuppy ones, though, are hard, so. The small ones in this particular collection, whoop, oh, that stayed, have more of a cup shape to them, but we'll just let that sit. That is the finished card. This took a while, and really, do we have this kind of time in our lives? I'm going to say yes. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it inspires you, and think about this. I got this, right? And I still have this bad boy that I can make something with. In fact, you know what? I should make something with it and post it on my blog, but I, <laughs> I may not have the energy after this. Instead, I'm going to sit back and bask in the glory of a clean and simple card project that turned out. All right, I changed my mind. I did off camera make a second card with the outline that I want to show you because I think this is actually really cute too. So here's the outline, right? I just cut out a couple extra outlines so that I could glue these all together for a little bit of dimension. Added sending kindness, a few sequins, and so there I do have something with the leftover. I still really love this because I think it just has so much pop. Ah, oh, I can't believe how much I love how this turned out. Anyway, those are the finished cards today. For real this time, I'm out. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.